Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Valleys. In this series of videos, we are talking about the best book series, the best book for different subjects that of our choice. Now for these different subjects, for the books that I am going to mention, there are three books mentioned for individual videos. Among these three books, it's not likely we are putting in the rank 1, 2, 3, no. All the three books are important because sometimes one book covers some topics better than the other book. That's why we have three books listed for you so that you understand which topics are well written in which books and you can choose that book accordingly. And this book selection is purely based on my personal preference and the way I pursued the book when I read it. The book selection and choice might vary from viewers to viewers. So it is advised that if you want to purchase the book or if you want to read from the book, at least see a sample copy or see the soft copy or PDF version of the book first and then get them. Another advice, if you want to get these books, get it in the colored version. If not possible to buy and afford the original printed version of the book, you can get a PDF and get a colored printout, which still is better in terms of understanding. And if you want to get this book, buy this book, the list of the books and their buying links from Amazon uh, is there in the description. You can click that and you can see uh, the books and you can check the details, you can check the reviews and can decide to purchase or not to purchase. Okay. And at the end, I'll also mention about which book to select and which book not to select based on your requirements. So let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series, we are going to talk about the best books. So best books of ecology. Today we are going to talk about the best books of ecology for you. And what are the best books of ecology? Here we have the three best books for ecology. When you are preparing for ecology, now ecology, graduation and master is not common in India. But ecology we need to read from zoology background, from botany background, uh, for other entrance examinations like CSA NET, uh, GATE. Uh, we need to read ecology and also PhD, institutional PhD exams, they ask questions from ecology. It's very important topic and it's one of my favorite topic from the classical biology part. So the books from where you are going to get the best idea of ecology, the very first book I want to give you is The Elements of Ecology by Smith. So Elements of Ecology by Smith, this is the global edition book, you can choose any edition of your choice but get a recent version of ecology because ecological concepts, particularly the conservation biology part, the pollution part uh, and also the diversity part is something that keeps on changing every single year. So always whenever you are getting ecology book, get the up to date version of it. So Elements of Ecology by Smith. Best feature is that it is very clear and concise uh, in terms of writing format. It focuses on applied ecology. It offers a balance between theory and practical applications of ecology and that is important. You know, ecology has a lot of practical applications and when you are explained with the practical implications, you understand that topic well. That's why you will understand ecology very well from this topic. It has great visuals and case studies as well. Okay. Uh, and the most important topics that you can read from this book is the population dynamics and regulation. So part of the population ecology is very well explained. Ecological succession, ecosystem functioning and energy flow in ecosystem is very well explained. Conservation biology, human ecology and environmental challenges that human are facing right now is also very well explained and updated in this particular book. Get a up to date version of this book and you'll get all these things. And if you remember CSI and its syllabus, population dynamics, ecological succession, ecosystem functioning, energy flow, conservation biology, all these topics are the topic from where CSI and NET always ask questions from. So for CSI and NET, this is the book to go. And for overall ecology understanding, this is the book to go. Now the second book, Second best book I can tell uh, from this ecology here. Uh, here it, it is for you, the ecology of plants. Uh, now this is ecology of plants book, okay. Uh, Schneider uh, is there. So, so this book, the ecology of plants, Gordon A. Fox. So Gordon, Fox uh, and Shainer, this is the ecology of plants book. You know, 
uh, ecology when we focus on ecology we generally the earlier book that we talked about the smith book is all rounder book it talks about the ecology as a overall ecological concepts be it in the plant population be it an animal population particularly lean towards the animal population lean towards the human ecology but if you want to particularly focus on plant ecology then this is the book that you can go with and again it has a focus on plant ecology and uh, the interactions of plant with the elements of ecology uh, ecosystem elements of ecosystem integrates evolutionary theory and ecological processes of plant plant evolution and also extensive coverage of plant adaptations with changing environment and remember there is a huge gap between the understanding of the ecology of plants and ecology of animals the reason behind it is that ecology is all about the interaction between uh, the biotic and abiotic factors and as a biotic factor we as organ living or organism uh, both plants and animals but among them even us like a part of animals uh, we can move uh, we can uh, take shelter we have different uh, behavior but the plants have different behavior because they are fixed organism like that they, they, they cannot move so the way they represented the way they interact to the environment with changing climatic conditions are different so for that particularly uh, this book will be beneficial to understand the plant adaptations that is why this book wins over the other plant population and communities physiological ecology and adaptations to the environment and if somebody want to understand the plants response to the changing environmental parameters changing abiotic factors then this is the book that you can read ecosystem processes and nutrient cycling part is only available here and global climate change and its effect on the plant population is something that uh, is very well written in this book but again please read from the most up to date version and the third book for ecology here is ecology by miller we we'll talk about this robert is uh, robert e uh, ricliffs and gary l miller ecology just name as ecology uh, by miller now the best feature is that it's comprehensive yet accessible introduction to the ecology this is an introductory uh, book of ecology somebody is introduced to ecology you can go with that and it also integrates evolutionary principles with ecology now i firmly believe that ecology has a very close connection to the adaptation of organisms and that is a, uh, that has a very close connection to the evolution of the organ speciation of the organism that part is also being taken care of by this ecology by miller it has a strong focus on real world case studies right now around the globe so that is something that is interesting that makes learning ecology more interesting what we have here we have population ecology we have community interaction and ecosystem we have biodiversity and conservation evolution ecology human impact on ecosystem all these topics are there all these topics so so the part of uh, organisms their interaction to the abiotic factors of the ecosystem community interactions biodiversity and its conservation and evolution ecology and human impact so that part of the these topics are also there in csi and life science syllabus so if you want to prepare this part biodiversity conservation evolution by ecology and human impact on the ecosystem then this is another this is the book to go you go with the ecology by uh, miller okay so these are the three books that i that, that i will suggest they have different topic preferences remember based on the requirement of your topic you choose the book all right so i believe uh, i have already clearly stated the difference between all the three books which topics are well covered in one book more than the other so the usp of the books are clearly explained now it's your choice which book to choose depending upon your requirement but remember this is all my personal preferences if you want to check check out the book the link is there in the description you can click the link and you can see the details hopefully you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye